we're just trying to make sure to take care of our bodies, take care of our minds and just properly review the last game, but make sure now we're moving forward to the next game, but just trying to rest up a little bit. We'll go to uh, Austin. Hey, Allie, I guess kind of speaking of that last game, does it help that it's just such a quick turnaround to be able to play on Wednesday and kind of forget about the weekend? Yeah, like it's just with how the things happen in the league, like any anyone on any given day is going to be anyone, I think, with just how it is here. But short-term memory loss, I like to call it, be like Polidori, just move on to the next game. We just have to keep moving forward if we want to progress well in this league and this season. So put it behind us, we learn from it, and move on to the next game. And you've already played Gotham uh, already. Um, how How does that kind of help in terms of preparations for Wednesday, just knowing kind of, how they play, the personnel they have, et cetera? Well, what is this our third time playing them? <laughs> third time playing them. So honestly, we kind of need to mix it up a little bit probably, but we know how they set up and how they prep. We know they're playing style. So both teams are coming in pretty equipped with knowledge of each other. So it's just a matter of who's able to get the job done this time. With it being the Challenge Cup, does that change the mentality at all? Or, or do you feel that, that it's just another opportunity for uh, to kind of get things back on track? I think it's just a great opportunity for us to get stuff back on track. The last few games haven't gone as what we wanted, but each game we see is an opportunity to get three points and just to grow as a team. And we're going to take the opportunity. You go over to Jackie Gutierrez. Thank you. Hey, Ali, uh, Jackie here with Women Kickballs. Um, yeah, I just want to touch a little bit about just the mindset you were talking about uh, in terms of just looking ahead for the first win in the Challenge Cup, I guess, just what mindset or approach are you just hoping to take um, just as you prepare for this this midweek game? Um, I think just going into this game, we just need to remember who we are. Um, I think we kind of lost sight of it a little bit, and we just need to get our confidence back. We have shown this league and teams that we are more than capable of competing with anybody here, so we just need to remind ourselves that and just show it because we show at training, we show it in both and games, now we just have to execute it all the way through, so it's coming. It's coming. We just we need to make sure we take our opportunities, but we just need to make sure that we keep our confidence to stay united because we are a great team. We just had to get the final products. Yeah, for sure. And then just thinking of that too, like um, for you, just what has brought you joy about playing in Orlando so far? I say the people. This team is amazing. Like if you separate us off the field, like this is an amazing group of girls, and we're fun, and we just love each other unconditionally and I think that's honestly what helps carry any team through anything when you have a great team so as if stuff aren't clicking on the team uh, like on the field right now but we always can depend on each other to help support each other off the field and keep us sane and keep us happy and then that's all we need cool and then sorry last question for me here um but just in your first full season with the pride I'm sure yeah there's lots to learn and just um with players and their personalities and things like that but what have you learned when it comes to playing with just incredible veterans like Marta and things like that like, like my, my things, like my college coaches always told me, is like, take what you can from other players, and like learn from them. So like playing with one of the best soccer players on this freaking earth is, I think, a blessing to us every single day. We learn so much from her. She's a great leader. So take what you get from her and learn from her. She has so much experience and knowledge to share with us. So every training session, as fun as Marta looks like with the videos you guys see of her at training, she's a great ball of energy, but she's very wise and more than willing to share with us. And we learn every day from her. That's awesome. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much and good luck this week. Thank you. Uh, one from Michael Citro in the chat. He's wondering, Allie, with the team struggling to score the last few matches, what kinds of things have you been working on during the week and what are sub and the coaches telling the players who play up top? We just need to have more desire. We need to want it. We could do as much pretty soccer between the boxes, but what happens in the 18 yard boxes is what matters. And so we've been just really hounding on like we need to have that desire and that want. And we do want it. We truly do want it. We know we do, but we just had to execute and we can't fall short of that anymore. So I, we're going to this knowing that we need to go and do this now because we still have a lot of season left, but we need to start getting it done right now before it gets a little too late in the season. But we want it. We really do want it and we will we'll get it done. Go back to Austin. I just wanted to ask you about that, that team culture that you were talking about off the field. It, it's been talked about by basically all the players and the coaches about the kind of camaraderie that this, this team has. Um, how important is that, especially in, in the tough times, to be able to kind of lean back on that and, and have that, that team mentality where it's, where it's all together, um, you know, win or lose? I think it's just seriously like the most important thing. Like 
just to be able to fall back on each other when things are getting hard, just in life in general, or just on the field, we just had to always stay united and we will always have each other's back no matter what's happening on, on or off the field. And that's the culture we need. I think that's culture I think is key to any team. Like it will translate to the field and it has been translated to the field. We are a very new team, very young team. So like, it's been a little harder for us to like get it fully like collective on the field, but like, we're growing and that's all like, that's all we can ask for is just each other's best, but we're growing as a foundation, as an organization, just as everything. So it comes in time, things don't get fixed overnight. And as long as we're staying together, which we have been since day one, and we've been buying into this culture that we'll get the results we want. It's just, we have a little bumps all the way. We'll just take a few steps back, but we keep moving forward. We keep tracking forward.